Hello everyone, it's Cress, aka Taka, and it is finally time for a thrift sale finds video. Although I did go to one rummage sale yesterday, but I didn't find anything at it. Um, technically, I do live in Michigan and most of it is still in lockdown, but I'm in the Upper Peninsula where we have limited access. Um, went to Goodwill today for their first day opening and it is chaos. Don't have anyone working the door, <laughs> but... 99% of the people in there were actually wearing masks, so that was good. Yesterday, Rita and I went to Gwyn, which is about 30 minutes from my house, and we went to the St. Benny's there, and the this and that consignment store, thrift store, conglomerate, large building. Um, I had coupons to use at both those places from the shopping show, so I bought some things I probably normally wouldn't have. At each of the places because I had money to spend. I had 10 to spend at the St. Vinny's and 25 to spend at this and that. And then the day before that, I went to the St. Vinny's in Marquette. I spent $5.30. So my bet favorite find of the whole week was at the St. Vinny's. And I paid $3.50 for W.C. Fields here. He is in pretty good condition. There's only a little paint loss in places. And he is missing his cane. But... I'm more surprised he hasn't smashed his bottle. And I looked this up, someone selling one with the cane, no faceplate, for $200. It's not what it's sold for, but that's what it's listed for. Um, and I was looking them up, and every one came with a different W.C. Fields quote. And I like the one I got. I got, Godfrey Danville, Daniel, who put the pineapple juice in my pineapple juice? One, because... Usually when I have a pineapple drink, it's not in my own house. And um, two, my dad's name is Daniel, so it's kind of funny that we got the Daniel quote. Um, so I might make him a cane. It was just a simple black cane. Um, like maybe if I find a black pipe cleaner or something in the free bins of the rummage sale. But he's living on my bar. with uh, He's from 1972, and it was apparently ma Maker's Mark Whiskey Bourbon promotion but i don't see anything about that on here it it's by it was made in 1972 by avia entertainment so um and the one he's selling for 200 is missing the diamond in the ascot so i like that mine still has that although as you know i have diamonds to replace that if it falls out because i needed to replace some of one of those poodles from a while back so that I'm keeping, he was three fifty. So I needed another dollar fifty to use my coupon before it expires next week. So this was exactly a dollar fifty, and it, all it is is a bunch of jewelry boxes. So when I sell jewelry or my own pendants, I can put them in for anyone who's like mentions they're doing it for a gift or something. Usually I just do little bags um, for them, but this is probably the cutest one. It's a little heart shaped box. There's actually um, an earring box in here as well. And uh, a Jandron's, not just the white. So they threw this in, but separate, but there's actually a real Jandron's box in here, wherever it went. But there's also this earrings box. Oh, there it is, it's that maroon color one. You know, it was Jandron's from our area, so. It has even the box for the box. So, it's kind of cool. But, that's just going to be little things I throw in. And it is very humid out today. Last two days have actually been, like, up to 98 near my house. It's been insane for May in the UP. Alright, so... This is my surprise uh, St. Vinny's purchase. It was a whole 75 cents. I didn't bother to look it up. I figured if nothing else, I could use it to store things in. It still has its lid. And it's just shy of being able to be listed on Etsy. It's from 2001, and I know that because Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure came out in 2001. And I looked this up, and I was like, why are people listing? One person had it listed for 10 plus shipping which seemed reasonable. And then two people were listing it for 50 and 55 plus shipping. So I looked in the solds. Someone la in March sold this exact thing for $60. We're like, wait, what? 
It's just a plastic Lady in the Tramp thing. So I'm thinking that might be a fluke, but I might end up trying to sell this in maybe another month or so with the others. See what's doing. It actually says 2000 on this for Kellogg's, which means it came out before the movie, which kind of does make sense because this might have been one of those popcorn tins you got at the theater and they would have had to have made it in advance of the movie coming out. So technically, because it says 2000, I could try listing it on Etsy instead of eBay, but I just noticed it says 2000 Kellogg on there. So, but it says Kellogg's. So now I'm like, was it supposed to be like a giant cereal container? Because this thing is huge. Look, see, it's a shape. It's in my head. So it wouldn't be like one person cereal bowl. But maybe we're meant to just store your cereal in it. But it says, wash thoroughly before you. Sasco Inc. Made in China. But then we have all these cute images. And you know, anytime I sell an animal item, 10% at least goes to charity. So I do... Sometimes I up it to 20 if I'm feeling extra generous at the end of the year. All right. So, um, again, trying to get to a 25 at the one store. I recently went through all my cookie cutters and took out all the doubles. And I did not have this kind of shape, nor did I have a, a, a coffin shape. So, I figured I might actually use that in your Halloween. So, again, keep it pile. Um... I just thought this was cute. I got this at the Gwyn St. Vinny's for 75 cents. It's uh, an earring holder. It's a mouse holding some cheese. Thought that just might be a cute little thing to sell. Uh, all right. This is the one that got me. I don't normally spend six on anything. So I paid up for this. Because it was so interesting. And their label was so intriguing. It says Christmas tree looking bottle. I don't consider that a Christmas tree looking bottle. And they're like embossed with snowflakes and poinsettias, wheat and glass. All right. It is actually all floral. They are all floral things. And I asked my thrifters group if they knew what the shape was. And someone found some older listings. Um, and I guess they're going with cone shape floral. Um, but... I I will try a solid. If it doesn't sell, I've started a wheat and glass collection because I, I kept the little blue bottle wheat and bottle that looks like a fish. So I won't be sad if this doesn't sell. But I hope it does. Don't know what I'm going to list it at yet. Ugh. And then this one's going to get listed because I have this one. I wasn't sure if I had it or not. I know I'm missing one from this set. So I picked it up for 95 cents. So I will save it up for when I get a lot. Of shot glasses because selling one individually seems ridiculous. But if I get any more repeats in my collection, we'll have a repeat sale lot. It's not that it's not in good shape or anything, it's great. But the one I have is this, this good. So I'm still looking for the fourth to complete my set. Uh, let's go over to today's Goodwill finds. So this was like this in the store, so I could only see one of the coasters. But it it is uh, six traditional coasters by Pimpernel, and I haven't looked them up or anything. Um, but they're all fox hunts. So, and I love fox hunt prints. But I haven't looked them up yet. They look unused. I prefer the fox hunt prints where you know someone fell off their horse and is crawling out of the water. That's what got me started on them. So I don't want them actually catching the fox. And then of course, um. I love hound dogs, uh, so I love fox hounds, and my last dog, who unfortunately we still haven't been able to replace yet, now that you can replace a dog, but it's really weird not having a dog and only having a cat right now, was an American English coon hound, which is a bloodhound mixed with an English fox hound. So, uh, but they're all different. They're in beautiful condition. I haven't looked them up at all. I will probably attempt to sell them. Just because it's such a pristine set. Uh, this set of six permanent coasters is an ideal gift. It offers the select hostess exclusive design from fine artwork, attractive furniture protection, and a practical accessory. Uh, then more for me. Uh, 
I paid up a little two fifty. Normally I pay like a dollar fifty, but they looked brand new. They're this kind of camo with skulls on them, and uh, since everyone's been quarantining in their PJs, I have been getting holes in a lot of my PJs that have just gotten extra wear time. So I needed a new pair, and these are nice thin light ones for the summer weight. So I wash those and wear those. And I got lots of glass stuff. Okay, we'll start with this glass thing. So I only paid a dollar fifty for this. And from what I can tell, one, it is not just a large glass, so you could use it like that if you really wanted to. Um, it is a cocktail shaker missing its lid. But what's really funny is, don't you think you'd break the glass before you lost the lid? So I think if I hold on to this for a bit, like especially for rummage sale season, which is just starting to kick there's an estate sale this weekend, and hopefully by the end of June there's a bit more, maybe get the neighborhood sale going, uh, I'll be able to find the lid that goes on top. It's just a classic lid. Um, or at least one that fits so it looks better. Um, it simply says, Happy Times, Ding Dong the Bell. So it's all bells and bon voyage, bon voyage. So I was looking this up and someone was saying it was something like a tipsy company glass or something. I still have to do some more research, but eventually I do plan to sell that. I just feel I have to find it first. All right. These I got because they said 50 cents a piece, and when she was checking them out, she noticed these old tags. Someone had tried to sell them for six each at the rumor show, which I think is a little expensive. Um, but she gave it to me for the dollar because all their tags are these white tags, not random color tags on the bottom. But I am going to have to soak those babies off because they are not peeling at all. But I just liked them because they are, here, they, they each have these four cars on them. We have the 1904 Cadillac, the 1914 Stutz, the 1908 Buick, and the 1908 Model T Ford. So they're just cool looking old cars. I will try to sell them for a little bit, probably not $6 a piece. That seemed even steep for me, especially because someone's going to have to pay shipping on top of that unless they buy $35 worth of items. Set those down nicely. And then, speaking of more glasses, uh, I picked up some Welch's jar jar glasses, jar glasses. Uh, these two are part of the Endangered Species Collection. There are six in the collection. These, the Tigers number five and the Humpbacks number six. Um, I might sell these two together as a set, just because. But they, of course, didn't have the whole set there. But... Again, anything with an animal in it, I donate to part of the sale to charity. So, And then the next two that seem to go together would be these Looney Tunes, although they're different styles. We have Looney Tunes 6 Collector Series from 1994 with Sylvester and Tweety on it. And we have Taz on it from the Special Edition 5, 1995. And these were like a dollar each. They're probably worth maybe five each. And then these two are Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, Bama glasses. Rocky and Bullwinkle related characters are trademarks and copyrights of word productions. So this has, uh, apparently there's six in this collection as well. They like doom and six. Okay, Bullwinkle's a little messed up. He got some color loss there. But Boris looks pretty good on Boris himself, a little color last there. But they were cute. And him. And when you're desperate for finding things. <laughs> mm. Then I got this hat from a local a wildlife refuge for my dad for Father's Day. We'll sneak that downstairs. And then I got this cute little, uh, for 50 cents, Eden Company Peter Rabbit and Friends mug. It's just a cute little kid's mug. I do I did well with my last two Peter Rabbit items. They both sold. Uh, 
225, I picked up an extra multifunctional scissors set. It's like a cutting board on scissors. Um, I'm actually on my second set. We've melted the handle in one of them by accident. So this is going to be our spare. Uh, and then I uh, I just picked up this cute little Homko figure for 79 cents. This little puppy dog. I tend to pick up the puppy dogs. Um, another keeper thing. Uh, this is one of those uh, Mad Angry Mama things for cleaning your uh, microwave. It was only $1.49. And so my friend said she spent like 15 on hers brand new. So. Done. Uh, then I couldn't resist for 59 cents this little pencil sharpener piano. Haven't looked it up at all yet. Just says made in China on it. And the sticker's a little wonky on there. Gonna have to press that back down. High humidity is probably not helping that today. And apparently the lid must come up because there is tape all around it. Just scotch tape. Now let's see. Okay, don't come off then. All right, let's see. Does it lift up at all? Why did you have it taped down? I don't know. There seems to be some wear, like there were hinges here and they might be gone. But that doesn't seem to be moving. So maybe it's missing the part that went there. So it might be broke, but still a pencil sharpener that would work. So didn't see that in the store that it was actually missing a part of it but for 59 cents not too bad um normally I don't pick up Norman Rockwell cups but these are Long John Silvers and they're both still in their boxes and they do have the one represented in each so I thought I'd give those a try um this one has a puppy in it too so this was a set of four originally so half the set oh let me just put those back there and then I got this today at Goodwill. It is a Pyrex dish that is actually made in England. I paid $2.50, which is a reasonable price. There is a slight nick, I just noticed, right on the edge. You can't even really see it unless you turn it to the side, but it might actually be a manufacturer's defect. But I love that the uh, handles curved in like that. And this is the original lid because it's English Pyrex lid, it says right on it. So um, I might try and sell that. If not, it'll look nice in my collection, but um, just really pretty wildflowers. Um, then some of the molded things. So I had to rescue this mud man because, you know, I was at the store where I was trying to get my 25. So he was like five bucks. And I know he's missing his fishing rod and a fish, but he's already carrying fish. So he'd still look very cool on the shelf. If you wanted to, you could make a fishing rod out of like a skewer for him and just hang wire off of it and just be, he's coming back from his catch and he's just carrying his catch. So he's not worth as much as he would have been had he had the little thing. Um, he looks, he's much larger than the one I found last year. Uh, when he's standing, mine's kneeling kneeling down basically um but he's bigger overall um but he definitely has some value still to him so i will try to sell this one because i already have a mud man um so and then i needed just a few more dollars to complete my order so i really liked the look of this throne piece um it was five it is signed, but I can't read that signature at all. It just was really pretty. I may try to sell it. If not, it kind of goes with the collection my mom had of Mexican pottery. It looks that way. But the colors were really pleasing, so I'll try to sell that. And then similarly, I haven't looked this one up yet either. I only paid two for it. It says it was made in Taiwan for the U.S. Leisure Products, Inc. of Central Islip, New York, and it's like a sheep, maybe, and a pig with a little place in it. Like, I, is, I'm not sure what it's supposed to hold or anything. It looks like it might have a small 
defect on the inside, but it's not affecting anything else. There's like a, but it was just cute. Uh, you can tell it was hand glazed because the glaze dripped down from the nose even. So, um, I just thought it was really cute. I will try to sell that. And the last things I got were some charms from each of the stores. One, again, I probably wouldn't have paid two twenty five dollars normally, but I needed it to get over my 10 anyway at St. Vinny's. So I usually use these for when I make sun catchers or ornaments. So we have a fish skeleton, a kitty cat. And this actually says Spoonique, I think, on it. I think that's what it says. So there's a cat, and it's not going to focus, is it? My face is in the way. There's a little bird. And what looks to me to be a Quidditch ball from Harry Potter. Ball with wings on it. And then this... This also was like two seventy nine, but this one had a lot more in it, and oh, I hate when they put staples in it. So this has an looks like an envelope with a flower on it, a purse, a heart chain, a little uh, dress quote robe thingy. Looks like it might be a trench coat a cool little lips thing a little umbrella a ribbon a mirror but no mirror on it and a little heart thingy that says love on the back and a little hat charm so that is everything. Links below to my Etsy shop, my eBay shop. Um, both are Trash Kid Treasures, and I do technically have a Trash Kid Two Trevor's um, Treasures on Macari, but they don't have like a direct link to your own site. It's very weird. So I usually just sell more modern stuff on Macari. eBay, I will sell either modern stuff that does better on eBay or some vintage things do better on eBay depending on their category but most of my stuff goes into my Etsy shop. Thank you for watching.